MovieWeb.com. You have a very complex character with Steve Buscemi. Yes. And I'm wondering how hard it is when you write a character like that to have the whole thing come out on screen the way you wrote it. Right. Well, I wrote it for him. And so uh, I spent about three and a half, four months alone in my apartment, walking around, working on this dialogue, working on the scenes as if I was Steve Buscemi. And I know him very well. We've done four movies together. Uh, I know what sort of interests him as an actor. He loves things that draw him to the edge of a cliff and then throw him over. He loves falling. He loves taking a leap where you don't know where he's, he's going he's to end up. So that's why I, I, I wrote these scenes the way I wrote them. Uh, and, you know, it, it became really clear to me that he was the only guy to play this part because he brings uh, an undercurrent of humanity to, to every single role that he does. And, and I pushed him on this one to go even further, to, to even bring this, his sense of tragedy, his sense of, 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 oh my God, you know, look what my parents have done to me. And, and how, how am I gonna live my life, you know, when, when every two seconds my, my mother is telling me that I'm worthless, my father treats me like I'm worthless. Uh, uh, he just, I think he just, he gives a, an amazingly complex performance. It's, it's raging. It's, it's, a, it's a small person in a certain way, uh, just furious at being treated small, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I think he has a kind of nobility to him inside, deep inside. And I, I, I greatly respect his struggle because I think it's something that we all go through. We all go through it. Toby at the end of the film, just to touch that a little bit, he escapes into, into nirvana. Less is left on earth like us all, struggling in the mud, you know, living every day, trying to go, all right, how am I gonna survive this day? Now, was the picture of himself on the computer, is that kind of his own way of telling himself that he's worthy, that he yes. is up there with those people? Yes, yes, that's a great, 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 great observation. Uh, it, it's like his own little mirror, uh, it's, but it's not a mirror, it's, it's an image of him that he puts up there. He looks kind of like, don't fuck with me, you know, I am somebody, I am somebody. Uh, and you know that's that's what stares at him. There's so easy to get on the red line, the red carpet for this stuff. Like me, no one ever checks anything that's on me. I mean, how close right. do you think we are to something happening in this sort of environment? I mean, it's scary sometimes for me talking to Eli Roth, who makes these horrifying movies, and some of the stuff he's come across. You know, he get this close to having something dangerous happen. I mean, do you think that's close or? Listen, I thought about that without giving away the end of the film. I thought about that as I as I devised this ending, that you know I hope nobody takes it literally, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean it, it's scary that you can be that close to people, and and I think that the more scary thing is that this adulation for the stars is accompanied by, and I'm serious, an absolutely equal amount of of, of jealousy. Uh, uh, revenge and and just you know real bitterness that that it's happening to them and not to me I guarantee you I don't care how much of a Tom Cruise fan you are in the back of your brain you're thinking he's just a human being yeah. why does he have it and I don't fuck him I swear to God I think that's that's something that happens on on, on this level it's like to to idolize them you know and then to to resent them I think that's what's going on.